Top of the hour, and we have a special guest with us in studio this evening. We'll find out who he is right after the short message from our sponsors here at XKWX, because no one's listening. It's time to call for Juvenile. So I just start juvenile when that little Lyman green light pops on? That's right, just relax and remember why you came here. No one can hear the station signal. Might help to just start with your name and go from there. My name? Coming in five, four, three, Seven days or your money back. You here to talk or what? Oh, uh, hello, everybody. Nobody? My name is Bajnook, and I'm here today to talk to you about. Don't some... make stuff up, please. Use your real name. Would I make up a name like Bajnook Bortnik? That's your real name? Yeah, it is. You a hockey player or something? It's Hungarian and Russian. What's your name, anyways? All right, all right. I apologize. Just sounds like a fake name is all. You're still on. Please continue. I was driving. Cross country. I had been behind the wheel for hours. I was pretty tired and a little lost. I saw a motel coming on down the road, and I figured I could check in, get some sleep, get some directions, and start again in the morning. <laughs> How are you fixed for steady company? How often did I tell you not to be so fresh? Do I want to listen to you? No. If you don't keep quiet, I'll smash you. I'll destroy you so that you never make another sound. Welcome. Name, please? Bajno. B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got gotcha you right here. Excuse me? Oh, right. Sorry. Last name? Bortnik. Right. Bajno Bortnik, right? Here you are, sir. Uh, room number eight. Number eight. Do you have any other rooms? You got available? something weird against eights? No. Enjoy your stay. I don't know why I took the room. It was obvious that another Bajnok Borknik had placed the reservation. And yes, I know how stupid it sounds. I can't say that I wasn't at least excited to meet this guy and have a good laugh over the weird name we shared. But I didn't expect. Of course I was hungry too. Hungry? Tired. It was not like anything I'd ever tasted before. But whoever this other Bajno Borknik was, it was all for him. Not for me. He said his name was Bajno Borknik.
Your identification, please. <laughs> Bornak Bortnik, indeed, indeed. That is quite the name, and quite the coincidence it's resulted in, would you agree? I had hoped this little mix-up could be resolved cleanly, but it seems that you've seen a bit more than a clean resolution allows. Taste it a bit more too, how is it? It's, uh... I don't know. Yes, well, perfectly spoiled for me now, isn't it? I've been looking forward to this for so long. I apologize. I apologize about the mix-up. I apologize I ruined your steak dinner. I'd like to go home now. <laughs> well, of course you would. This is an embarrassing situation for all of us. All three of us. All four of us. I am a cautious man, Mr. Bordnick. My pseudonym was chosen specifically to avoid situations such as this. There are patrons of this establishment who don't think the use of pseudonyms or disguise is necessary. I understand some of them are even stupid enough to pay with their own credit cards. However, my caution is to be your salvation. You see, you really don't know who I am at all. And in a moment, you will be allowed to get in your car and drive far, far away to forget the name of this place, how you got here. And what's happened here? Well, I'm no fool. Surely you'll never forget. But you'll certainly never speak of it to anyone. Ever. It will be a burden on your soul. I'm clearly no stranger to harboring dark secrets. But a man of my means and tastes... Well... You can imagine what could become of you. Well then, on your way. Mr. Bordnick? Yes? Where are your manners? Thank you. You're welcome. Safe travels to you. I drove as fast as I could for the next day and a half sleep that night. Just drove. I didn't even look in the rear view. The end? I hope so. You feel better? You're sure no one will ever hear this, right? Not a soul. This is XKWX. No one's listening. 